So yes, thank you to Bioware, thank you to Dragon Age Team and EA for sending me Rook's Coffer early, because it arrived like two days after I left for London. And um, also for letting me do a hands-on event. In case you haven't seen it, go to my YouTube. There is plenty of content there from the Veil Guard. So, ah, trying to figure out a way to put this on my desk, because it's a big box. So, uh, here is what's in the box. I don't know if you can actually read it. Um, there is the Light Up Dagger, Rook's Card Deck, Enchanted Die, it's a D20, or it's a D12, um, a Potion Flask, Map and Quiver in Cloth, and the Lithograph, and apparently I'm getting a uh, Dragon Age code at some point. And this is what you can buy. So the other fun part of this, once we look at it, I had pre-ordered one because I didn't think they were sending me anything. Um, so I've got an extra one of these that I bought. So I need to figure out a giveaway. Like it's still in the box. I'm not opening it. I'd figure out a giveaway. Maybe if we had a sub goal. So, instructions on using the dagger. Uh, it has lithium ion batteries in it. So when if you get one of these, the lyrium dagger, yes, again, all of them are banned. So, oh, there's a nice note from, and it has Manfred on it. And a griffin. I'm keeping this just because it has the griffin. All right, I'm going to read you the note. Nine years ago, we released the final chapter of Dragon Age Inquisition, Trespasser. At the time, when we talked about that, what that final shot would be, we thought it'd be cool to end with a dagger stab into the map. Where? Let's say Minrathis, because we were pretty sure that's where we wanted to go in the next game. Now here we are, releasing the newest chapter in the world of Dragon Age has, has us finally making good on a promise we weren't even completely sure we were making. But where else would we go beside the heart of Tevinter? the magical empire that has always lurked at the edges of Dragon Age stories. And while the shape of the game and the story has shifted over time, we always knew that this game was the one that would resolve the story of Solus once and for all. For that, we've never shifted course. As fans of the franchise ourselves, we wanted to honor the rich legacy of the Dragon Age games that have come before while welcoming new players to join us in Thetis. To us, that meant returning to our core tenets of authentic and relatable characters, rich world building, and stories that are at times joyous and other times heartbreaking. Perhaps mo most importantly, we wanted to build a game in which you could see yourself, whether through the companions you'll meet or the characters you create. It's taken the combined efforts of hundreds of people to craft this experience, and each has put part of themselves into it. We're beyond proud of every single member of this team, and we're incredibly grateful for the patience that you, our fans, have shown. To us, this Dragon Age game is a return to the kind of storytelling Bioware is known for. Characters you care about inside stories that matter. Welcome back to Thetis. From Corinne Bush, Game Director, and John Epler, Creative Director. So yeah, feels! Feels! Um, also, let's see if I can get this out of here, because the Lyrium Dagger is very firmly put into the box. Um, let's see if we can actually get it out of here. Ah, there we go. I just had to pull. So, one lyrium dagger. And it lights up. This thing lights up. It's like clear, pla clear plastic or resin. Y'all, you have no fucking idea how happy I am. Oh, this is, this is not sharp. So this is the Lyrium Dagger. Not sure how it works. I got to read the instructions. Um, I don't know how this is going to stand up. I hope it has a display stand because this is your potion bottle. If this doesn't have a display stand, we're in trouble. Unless I'm supposed to do this, which not sure that's going to work. It, it is glass. It is actually glass. 
Okay, it does stand up on its own. Uh, playing cards, which I'm not going to open because I'm going to guess you would get spoiled. There's even a black wrapper. So the playing cards are staying unopened until we finish a, re a run of this game. But because this has Brooks Adventures and I don't want to get um, spoiled. Hey, Sleazy. Oh, <laughs> here's the cord to charge your dagger. Which sounds weird when you say it that way. I mean, you could never use this in a game, but look at this D. Oh. Look at this D12. It's got all the icons on it, and it's purple. Um, and it comes in this lovely little velvet pouch. Um, Rook's Cuff, which I don't know if it will actually fit a real person. I think it's just supposed to be met, it's supposed to be very decorative. Because this is not going to fit a real live human. Yeah, my, my hand fits in there because I have small hands. And my favorite thing ever to get in a, ga in a game, a cloth map. You all have no idea how excited this makes me. A cloth map. I can't see. So yeah, it was, it was folded very nicely. Oh, it's getting hung up. There's space behind me. Um, so back in the car, nope, there is nothing to, there's nothing to put the, um, the dagger in. So I need to figure out where the, aha, there's the, the charge. I guess you just charge it and it stays. Ah, there we go. Oh shit, it came out of the box charged. My camera's mirrored the wrong way. I just realized that. Hey, Jinx. Yeah, it is a massive thing. Thank you. Yeah, Lyrium. So, let's talk Lyrium. Lyrium is only red when... It is infected by the blight because Lyrium is, well, I'm not going to say what Lyrium is, so we don't spoil Pandora. Um, but there is something you can learn in one of the DLCs about Lyrium that explains why it's red, when it's red. There is a lithograph, but I'm going to actually leave that um, as is. Because if I open that, there's no way, there's no way to uh, really deal with it. And this is a lithograph. We'll open it later because I feel like if I, it is so tightly wrapped, I'm afraid to open it right now. But I will, I will figure that out shortly. But thank you again to Bioware for that. And oh my God, the note is going to make me cry. I'm trying to get this piece of tape off so I can just lay it in here. Oh, I absolutely am. I just need to see what the dimensions are. But I'm like, that's... That means a lot to me as a player and as a fan. Um, and as someone who, who knows a lot of the team, both past and present. So um, it means a lot. It absolutely means a lot. Um, thanks again to the team for sending this over. Because this is something that means a lot to me. And as you can see, there are icons with all the companions, including Asan. Asan is so sweet.